Hey guys, Elle here. So the video today, I'm gonna be talking about K Beauty products and one J Beauty product that I regretted um, buying. And we're gonna start off with items that I don't actually have on hand because I've kind of like thrown them out. So the first one is the Cleo uh, Q Black Liner. I believe that's what it's called. Should I put a picture here? Um, I didn't like it because the brush was a little too soft for me so it didn't help with drawing like eyeliner perfectly for me especially because my eyelids are quite folded in um, so it kind of helped to smudge it more instead and also because of the fact that it dried up really really fast like I don't do makeup every single day so it dried up within like two months like I only left like maybe 10% of possible usage the second one is also a Cleo eyeliner it's their gel press so one the color one the pencil liner um, I didn't like it because it broke off really really easily like I could be trying to draw my eye and it break and it break and it break and it break and at one point it broke more than a quarter already and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna chuck it because I'm just gonna keep wasting the product and when you swatch it on your arm, it comes off really nicely and all but when you draw it on your eyelid, I don't say just me but when I tried drawing it on my eyelid, it kept tugging on my eyelid and the color wasn't coming off nicely and all so yeah, I regretted buying that and the third item is this uh, Holika Holika Gude Tama I think it was like the um, three step mask thing I'll try to find a picture and put it here but um, the first two steps were sort of okay, but when it came to the sheet mask, I had to throw it off my face within like three to five minutes because due to the fragrance in the product, I actually broke out in slight hives. My face was itching, especially on my cheeks because that was where most of the essence were. I had to wash my face all over again to wash off all the essence, but it was still very very itchy and. For that whole weekend actually, um, my cheeks were red from scratching and there were red little bumps all over and it was visible enough that Opa noticed it. So yeah, I really really did not like that product at all and I'm very very sensitive to fragrance. Maybe it worked for you but it didn't for me. Same goes for the Papa Recipe uh, Bombay Honey Mask. Um, it was quite moisturizing but the main reason it turned me off and I regretted buying it was because it had this very strong scent of almost like artificial honey so it just didn't work out for me at all um, so yeah I'm sorry but it just it just really 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 didn't work out for me at all I really wanted to like it because there was a lot of rave reviews but I just couldn't and next few items coming up are going to be BB cushions and most of them I regret um, purchasing because they were not suited for my skin or they came with reviews that now I do not know what to do with them because I didn't like it so the first one is the Hamish cushion this one kicked up mostly on my T-zone area no matter how I set it it looks sort of kind of okay-ish if it's like a slightly more distant pictures but a little bit more close up or in real life you can definitely see the kickiness and I don't know for some reason this BB cushion makes me look a little bit like grayish I don't know why but yeah that's what I remember from it um, but I like that was one of the first few cushions that came out with like this mochi sort of feeling whereby you press the formula out so I gotta give them props for that but I don't know it's in the shade number 21 so I don't know how did it make me look not so okay um, this was the first ever BB cushion that I purchased that I really regretted so this is the Misha M Magic Cushion in the Lying Friends Brown version I regretted this is because um, it seemed to be advertised as a cushion that you can use for normal to almost like combination skin and obviously you have the moisture one which is the sandy one for more dry skin so I thought this would work for me because I have a dry combination skin so I thought okay fine I'm not that dry that I need sandy but this 
kicked up not only on my t-zone but also on my drier areas as well it like cling on to the dry patches and it didn't matter whether i had primer no primer powder it just kept kicking up and i really really wanted to like this but i just couldn't yeah packaging is really cute though so the high mesh and the brown cushion both have reviews that i don't know what to do with right now and next one that also came with a refill is the Holika Holika Gude Tama cushion. I remember not liking this cushion because it kicked up on my face really badly as well. And it also has like a slight fragrance in it. And I was smelling it earlier because I haven't used this cushion in months actually. Um, to be fair to it, I gave it like a whole week of trying it out but it just didn't work out for me at all. And um, they, the fragrance smell has turned a little stale-ish now So I'm not sure if I should even continue actually using it or not Yeah, but the packaging is cute, I gotta give them props for that Okay, and the last BB cushion that I sort of regret buying It's not like a fully regret but sort of is this Tony Moly Pikachu cushion The reason I kind of regret it is because it kick up on my t-zone pretty badly um no although i already said it powder is actually clinging on to my oilier parts of my face and kind of kicking it up but i really like the packaging and it does make the rest of my face look flawless so it, this is a sort of regret i don't know how to categorize it but it is a sort of regret mainly because it doesn't make my face look flawless fully and it kicks up on the t-zone and because the packaging is quite thin, I'm not sure if I could even find like another brand or something that I could probably try to fit it in. I will have to check with my other cushions to see how it goes. And um, next is this sheet mask. I only have this because I got it as a free gift, but yeah, I didn't like the Etihad 0.2 mm mask because it is quite thin yes it's 0.2 mm but i didn't expect it to be so fragile that my nail can actually puncture a hole through it while i'm trying to put it on my face and it is pricier than the Innisfree real uh israel uh squeeze mask which my nail don't puncture through so i regret purchasing the mask a little bit but it is quite moisturizing and all so if not for the fact that it punctures and stuff I might be okay with it and also because it's pricier than it is free but it punctures so easily and uh, next is this skin full rice mask wash off the reason i regret purchasing this is because it feels like gloopy and watery at the same time and it has this like scent that just kind of turns me off i'm very very sensitive to fragrance so the scent just kind of turns me off. I'm trying to use it as much as possible so that I could finish it off. Um, I do prefer the black sugar mask wash off though. It's not a bad uh, mask actually. It's just that I didn't really see much significant results for me. And I don't like the smell and the texture. So yeah, that's just me. And next two items are from the Bunny Light Co Clean It Zero range, the foam cleanser and the cleansing balm. Um, I don't like the cleansing balm because it makes my skin feel very oily and sticky uh, after washing it off and also because it stings my eyes really 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 badly which has never been an issue in my Shu Amara cleansing oil so I got like a shock of my life when this stung my eyes so bad. I actually couldn't open my eyes for a good 5 minutes to even continue on with washing it because it stung so bad and I don't like the foam cleanser because it leaves my skin feeling a little bit like stickyish and almost oily I don't know how to put it and I didn't really like the scent of it and the last K-Beauty item that I regret is actually this Laneige uh, eyeshadow palette this was one of the limited edition ones that I purchased on Permo the colors are really really pretty I must say I can't remember which range is this I'll try to find information and put it in the description box below the colors are really pretty I must say um, it has like one very matte color the rest are 
I think one, two, like two more matte each color and the rest are a bit, uh, have a little bit of shimmer in it and all. Um, this eyeshadow falls out really easily, especially for the shimmers. My eyes were like being poked by shimmers all day long and the color payoff is, it's okay, it's not amazing, amazing, it's not that bad. It's just that the, the fallouts really annoy me. Um, so yeah, I regret purchasing this because I really really like the colors but it's okay, it's not that bad but especially like this bluish one which was the main reason I purchased it for, the color payoff isn't really that great. The rest of the colors are sort of kind of okay. And the very last item is actually a Japanese beauty item. I kind of fell into the advertising so this is the Kose Lip Gel Magic. The reason why I regret purchasing this is because this little item here was about 50 ringgit. Okay, which if I do a rough conversion in my head, it's probably like about 12 to 15 USD, I believe. Yeah. So I regret um, purchasing this mainly because it is supposed to come out like this. Um, like gel thing that you can put over your lipstick and stuff and it's supposed to protect like your lipstick for the day and it doesn't smudge and stuff like that and all it doesn't work well with the tints by the way um but yeah the thing is that you have to actually shake the thing until it mixes into like this gel and I wasted quite a lot of product actually because I thought uh, I never actually know when it's like gel like so kind of regret purchasing this I know some people who have used it and swear by it and say it's really good but I don't know, maybe I just don't know how to mix it well enough, it didn't work for me at all. i given it a couple of tries but yeah, it only keep my lip products from smudging maybe like a good 80%. Maybe it's designed to work more with like corset lipsticks formulas so yeah, it's stuff that I regret purchasing. Um, so. Yeah, so now you guys know what I regret purchasing and uh, disclaimer, this is based on my own opinion, my own skin, my experiences with it, maybe it worked well for you. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye!